Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back into the channel. It's your girl, the paper and pen girl. It's Tamara. So in this video, I would like to share with you my April setup of my Erin Condren on the go folio. If you are interested in seeing what I have inside of this folio system, please keep watching. Hey y'all, welcome back to the video. In this video, I am going to share with you my folio setup, but I'd like to share with you first the inspiration behind my folio setup. For the month of April, I am going to be changing out also, I have changed out also, my cover, etc. for my classic size happy planner, which is my catch-all planner. And so with me changing that out to the, ta-da, the modern farmhouse, you should have seen that video by now. If you have not seen that video by now, please look up here for a uh, card that leads you to the video. I will also have that video linked at the end of this video. So just keep watching this one and then you can go watch this one. I have my matching Villa Beautiful pen, which is this black and gold one. I do still need to you to make my divider, y'all. I do still need to make my divider. And so as I'm making the divider, I will do a video on that. So also stay tuned for the divider making video. And so this is my inspiration for the month of um, April. And so with that being said, of course, I had to pull out my black on the go folio along with my woven wonder planny pack. Let's start with the, with the planny pack. The woven wonder is one of my favorite designs that Erin Condren has made. And so I've got the black and white planny pack. I did purchase this specifically to go with my black folio. If you know anything about me, you will know this. I like matchy matchy. Not only do I like matchy matchy, I like folios and I like planty packs. And so we just we just had to do this. We we just did this. Um inside of this planty pack, if you're not familiar with the planty pack, inside of the planty pack, I do have um a bunch of different type of markers that I will, you know, utilize in the planner throughout the month and I also have sticky notes because you never know when you need a sticky note okay you never know when you need a sticky note this is usually pretty close by to my planty pack I mean to my folio in my bag or um you know sometimes I will just put it in here like this but it all depends if I'm using the folio this will be off to the side somewhere while I utilize the folio um, the Planny Pack is on the Erin Condren website. I will have a link down below to the Planny Packs that are available. They do come in multiple colors that you can get with different designs on the front. Some of them have no design either. There is a pocket in the back where if you choose to, you can use this section for your pens. You can use it for stickers. You can use it for whatever you want to use it for, uh, however you see fit. So that is my planning pack. And we're going to jump into this folio. And I'll share with you what I have in the folio. So this is the black on the go folio. I will go ahead and place a link in the description box down below to the folios for you. So you can choose which one you'd like. If you are new to the Erin Condren folios, this is kind of like a um, traveler's notebook system and this is like a a5 size right it's kind of like an a5 size um when i open up my folio i do have the these adhesive these are the medium adhesive pockets that are in here i have these medium adhesive pockets in here from a previous setup okay um these folios um, they come in 10 different colors right now. We have 10 different colors of these folios, 
but y'all be on the lookout because in the month of april um there should be new colors coming out especially the erin condren with wonder woman collaboration folio um and so i'm waiting on that because i will be purchasing it as soon as that's available i will have a link in the description box down below uh, for you to be able to click and go and purchase that product if you are new to purchasing from Erin Condren, it, um, when you purchase, please consider using my link either down below in this description box or over on Instagram in my Instagram bio. Uh, when you utilize that link, it's they're labeled in the description box. One of them, if you're signing up for the first time, it will send you to, if your email is signing up for the first time, it will send you a $10 off your first purchase coupon code to that email address. So make sure you get that so you can get your items um, at an even better cost. So we've got the folio. I have the Wonder Woman um, with Erin Codron collaboration journal inside. This is the productivity layout journal. Um, I love lined. I'm a lined girl. And so when I saw the productivity journal in this, I was, yes, because I think this, um, second quarter of the year is going to be even much better for us than the first quarter of the year. And we are on a mission to get our goals met. Um, you know, and so I think this is going to be great for that, for projects that you're working on, the goal, working out the goal, the to-do list for the goals. I think this is perfect. So this is going to be great for the month. I am keeping it simple inside of this folio for this quarter because um, applying the pressure, which Shea Budgets had said is something she's going to, she's doing. But when you're applying the pressure, you need to keep things as simple as possible because complication just makes your getting your goals more complicated. So keep things as simple as possible. I do have this Erin Condren organizer. This is the folio organizer in here and I've put some sticker sheets inside of it. I've switched the sticker sheets. This rose gold and gold combination was in front and I've just put the gold one in front now because this is from the goal setting journal and i think it's very appropriate for this second quarter where i want most of my goals to be completed this for the year in the second quarter applying the pressure y'all applying the pressure in addition to that i do have my villa beautiful pen i do think that this matches really well with the white um, that goes with the black and white theme here is my second quarter of 2020 um, petite, daily petite planner. So this house, April, May, and June. And so the colors for April, I'm going to show you the color for April. Is this beautiful? Be it's my favorite color. So you know, it's my favorite color. Um, so April is amazing. And then the month of May, we do have this peacherine, Lord have mercy. And then for June, which is, <laughs> it's your birthday, it's your birthday, is going to be this beautiful green color um, as well. I do have the third quarter, July, August, and September, which is volume number three, if you're counting it that way, which is the old way of doing things. I do have that inside of this as well for a particular reason. To me, I find that these two quarters go so well together, right? Because in planner world, we know that April, May, um, this is all going to be planner releases. April, May, kids kids are on, on summer break, which is June and July. We've got to make sure we're planning June and July for summer activities. Then going to plan in back to school activities. We're also planning using setting up our new planners for July that we have received. So for me, all of this right here has to go together. I mean, just in the, these couple months alone, there's going to be a son's birthday, my birthday, husband's birthday, our anniversary, another son's birthday. We, I need this whole six months in here so that I can, you know, plan ahead. I need this whole six months. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you find that this six months really do go together and tie in for you in your life 
or you find that no not really it doesn't do that for me um, but I find that it does that for me. So I've had that and I have this one in here so I can do some pre-planning inside of that uh, as well. Um, I, I'm keeping it simple with just the three books inside here for the month of April, probably May and June as well. But I will change out as I, as I see fit because I want to use this notebook y'all to look at the big picture it says Wonder Woman believe that you can and I really think that I'm just going to put in here a lot of the, the projects and things that I want to work on for the next couple months and just kind of break it down a little bit why is it important to me so that I can stay focused on getting these projects done over the next quarter and any notes that I need to write, I can write notes and jot things down as I see fit. So this is my On The Go Folio set up for the month of April, y'all, because I'm telling you, every time I switch out my planner covers, you know I'm probably about to switch out my folio as well and set this up a little bit differently. I set this up according to what my needs are for that particular time. Not only do I set this up according to what my needs are, in the middle of the month, if I find that my something isn't working, I will pull it out. <laughs> I will certainly pull it out because that's the whole purpose of us. Us having our planners is to make sure that we're utilizing them for what we need. I do not use this every single day. And I will say that in every single video because I, I think some people feel the pressure to utilize their daily petite every day. Even though I do not utilize it every day for daily planning, y'all, I will use the different days that I don't utilize it for daily planning for something else. For instance, one of the things that I now love to do is I love to use my Monday, not as a daily planning for Monday, but as a task list for the whole entire week. So I can now go ahead and just put down my, these are the things that I hope that I can get done this entire week. I can use this section right here for what's going on this particular day. And then I can just check things off from here and plan out my day as my day goes along. So all those additional items is what I will place in here. But I'll always look back on Monday. Okay, so let's go back to Monday and see what my top priorities are for this entire week and then possibly transfer it to the day that I'm going to be doing it on um, if I so choose to, if I'm not utilizing that space for something else. So you use your planner how it works. On Thursdays, we normally have a family check-in. So I, you know, would label each section and I would use it for each kid. So what's the updates on each child that I have? What's the updates on things that maybe hubby and I need to talk about or hubby and I need to do? What wins did they have for the week? You know, so things like that I will utilize Thursday for as well. So trust me when I tell y'all, this is more than just utilizing for a daily planner. Um, or, you know, you can utilize the spaces that you don't use on Wednesdays. Come on now with the grocery list. I'm about to use this for a grocery list on Wednesdays because my shopping days are usually going to be between Tuesdays. Tuesdays for the old sale, Wednesdays for the new sale as well. If you need to stock up on some items, how about making a, this is the items that I want to stock up on this week list. So many ways that you can utilize this planner, even though that's not what this video was about. But um, this is just how I look at my daily petite planner. One of the main reasons why I love this daily petite planner is just I can use it to do so many different things um, as well. All right, y'all. So that is it for my planner, um, my my on the go folio setup for the month of April. Let me know what you think of this setup in the comment section down below. Thank you so much again, and I will see y'all on the very next video. Bye bye.